What's up friends? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this tutorial, I am going to teach you how to do the lock on stabilization effect. And I'm going to teach you how to track text or just anything on your subject. Immediately, I have a very important note because for the best results of this effect, you need to have footage where you have a person in the middle uh, who is, for example, running or is walking and is not moving too fast and also is not turning or putting his arms for his face or ears or whatever you want to track. Okay, so you need to have a nice clean image that is not too crazy. So I found a really good one from a guy who is running. So it's very simple. You are going to select this clip and then you move to the fusion tab. So in the fusion tab, we have two nodes. We have media in and media out. And everything that you do in between will affect your video clip. Before we're going to add a new note, we want to be sure that we are at the begin of our video. Second thing to do, you want to add a note. So click on this media in and then you hit shift spacebar and that will open up the selection tool and then you will type in tracker. And here we can add now the tracker note and right up here we see tracker note. So by clicking on the inspector tool on the right top, you will open it up and you can see you can start to manipulate your tracker effect. First, we want to do something else because you see a green square on the screen and you can grab this green square and you can put it wherever you want. So a really important note here is that DaVinci Resolve does an excellent job in tracking ears, nose, eyes, you know, objects on the face, maybe also on shoes and fingers. But you know, if you want to track, for example, some weird stuff on the neck or on his elbow, I discovered that DaVinci Resolve has a really hard time. So my advice here would be the ears. So let's go to the ears and you see a small square and you see the bigger square. The small square is where Da Vinci really puts the focus on. So he knows that the focus is the ears, but also around the ear is important, but not so important as the small square. The next thing to do is we want to go to our tracker effect in the inspector tool. For the best results, you want to change adaptive mode to best match. And then you just simply hit this button, track forward. So let's do this. It did a great, great job. Hit on okay. All right, so now let's say that we want to put some text here or you want to put a symbol and it needs to go together with the ear. How can you do this? You go to the tracker and you go to operation. There you want to change the operation to match move. And then you will leave the merge from the foreground over the background. Now let's say we want to add some text to the guy. How can you do this? Very simple. Go to your effects and type in text. Then you're going to grab the text and you're going to add it to your grid. Then you're going to grab the output of the text and then you're going to add it to the tracker one. Then click on the text. Let's give it a name, Bob. And you can give it a font. You can do some pretty stuff, but I will keep it basic. Let's put it in the middle. All right, and now you will see what it did. It will track the guy <laughs> and it's pretty damn cool. So you can not only do this with text, you can do this with everything you imagine, okay? You can do it with symbols, with logos. I will give you another example. Let's delete it. I have some other text tools. So let's, for example, say I will grab this text message up here, add it to my grid, add it to my tracker. And then I will put it in the middle, somewhere here. Go to the begin of my video. I really like it. So let's move on to something else. Let's delete it again. Select the tracker, open up your inspector tool, go to merge and hit background only. So what we did now is that we only tracked the guys. Now you think it doesn't look really cool because I see these weird things in the background. And if we go to the edit page, you basically see the black background and that's not cool. So let's go back. So how can you fix this? You can do this on two different ways. You hit shift spacebar. You add a transform node, you're gonna add it. And then right up here in the inspector tool, you can increase the size. 
go through your video and check if you don't see anything weird anymore. Yes, I see weird stuff. So it would be good if you have like a 4K footage so that you can crop in a bit. I think now it's perfect. If you want to do it in your edit page, you can do that as well. Click on your clip up here and then go to your inspector tool. You see, you can transform it and you can zoom in or zoom out. All right, my friends, if you learned something new today, I would really appreciate a thumb up or just write something in the comment and I will check you out in my next video. Bye bye.